What's up guys, it's FM Techsaurus and welcome to Setup Wars episode 92 where you submit your desk setup to get featured on the channel. So if you guys want to participate, make sure to watch the video linked down below. As always, without wasting any more time, let the Setup Wars begin. If you guys are shopping around for your next game, make sure to check out G2A.com because they have the cheapest CD keys available for pretty much any game. I'll drop a link to them down below if you want to check it out. Also, before I begin the episode, if you're watching this on YouTube, episode 93 of Setup Wars is already uploaded on the Nice app and a link to that is down below as well. Let's begin the show. Starting off the show, we got a pretty clean setup from Justin that features two Asus 27-inch monitors and a 43-inch Hisense 4K TV up top. He's also rocking a Corsair Strafe RGB keyboard, M65 Pro mouse, and a pair of Audio Engine A5 Plus speakers, although he does have a Logitech G930 gaming headset as well. So all of that is one setup, and then we got another one adjacent to this, where he is using two more 27-inch Asus monitors and a wireless keyboard and mouse that's hooked up to a laptop, while his main setup is being powered by an Asus Strix 1080 and a 6700K. By the way, sick custom backplates and fan grills from the guys at V1 Tech. Huge fan of their work. There's only one chair here, so I'm assuming that both of these setups are his, but the question is why? Cable management, damn, look at that beauty. Wonderfully wrapped together using cable sleeves and routed through some sort of a metal raceway. Music to my ears. An incredibly clean setup, I mean this dude's carpet looks like it's just been washed. Seriously, an amazing setup. Thank you, Justin, for starting off this episode strong. May the force be with you. Speaking of clean setups, take a look at this one from Christian. We got three 24-inch Philips monitors hooked up to Wally, and below them we got the CM Storm Quickfire Ultimate Keyboard and a Logitech G502 mouse. I love how he routed the keyboard wire around the base of the monitor stand, trying to be all slick. I see you. For audio, he's using the Logitech G502 speakers, but he also has the SteelSeries Siberia V3 headset as well, which is hanging underneath the desk when not in use. And while we're down here, let's take a look at the cable management. It's not the best, but at least all the wires are off of the ground and on the IKEA Signum rack. I would probably tidy up the cables behind the PC as well, and is that, is that a food menu taped to the side of your case? So yeah, the PC is running on a 4670K and a GTX 770. I don't know where you got that poster from, but I like it. Video games don't make me want to kill people. Real life makes me want to kill people in video games. Nice. What can I say? A pretty dope setup with some personality. Thank you, Christian, for entering. Marin is up next with a nature-themed setup. He's using a 34-inch Dell Ultrawide, Corsair Vengeance K70 keyboard, and an M65 Pro mouse with an interesting cable management sleeve that I've never seen before. Also on the desk, we got a pair of Logitech speakers and Sennheiser Urbanite XL headphones resting on some mannequin's head. The two plants, combined with the LEDs and wallpaper, really give off a nature vibe and I like that. I don't think I've seen a nature theme setup since Val from episode 13 and that was a very long time ago. There's also a laptop on the table and his phone stand and it looks like all the cables are neatly tucked underneath the desk. He even has a custom made clear box of some sort that he is using to keep some cables in. Very clever. A pretty straightforward setup, thank you Marin for entering. At number 4 we have Spiked and a very badass setup indeed. I just love how the LEDs in the background blend in with the wallpaper. Speaking of the background, those red dots are places that he visited before, which I think is an awesome integration to his wallpaper. Even before we take a look at the gear, let's drool over his badass PC that he built inside the Aerocool Strike X Air, which essentially is a test bed. So this thing is rocking a 4770K and an MSI GTX 980 Ti in a custom loop. Very, very badass. Alright, so back to the setup. He's using a 34-inch Dell Ultrawide that's in between two more 19-inch Dell monitors. Now, I'm not sure if they are just there for decoration or he's actually using them since they are pretty spread out. He's also using a Corsair K70 keyboard and another M65 mouse. Jesus, I think that's like the third one in this episode. Also on the desk, we have his Focusrite audio interface, which he uses with his Sennheiser HD 550 headphones and the Audio-Technica AT2020 microphone with. Also for audio, he has a set of Edifier R27s on both edges of the desk. I can't really see any cables in this shot since everything is tucked away behind the backboard and he also managed to hide quite a few things behind the monitor itself. 
If you look at the opposite side of the setup, we can see a massive 60 inch Samsung TV that's hooked up to the wall, along with the Onkyo 5.1 speaker right below that, and a fully stocked mini fridge nearby. If you look closely, you can see his PS4 right on top, which is what I'm assuming the TV is used for. Also, I don't know if it's me, but this guy looks like he's living in a skyscraper or something. Just look at that view. Wow. An excellent setup and an even better gaming room. Thank you, Spike, for entering. Last but not least, we got Tin's dual display setup. White and black with some pink accents is what we're looking at here, folks. Tin is using two 23-inch ASUS monitors that's hooked up to the wall mount and below that we got the Corsair K70 RGB Lux with white PBT keycaps and holy shit, another M65 mouse. What the hell is going on? That mouse isn't even that great, is it? I mean, I don't know, I've, I've never been a fan of the mouse. It looks like he's also using the Corsair Polaris RGB mouse pad and a Blue Yeti microphone. For audio, he's got a few options, the Corsair Void wireless RGB headset and the HyperX Cloud 2s. There's also a JBL Bluetooth speaker under both of the monitors. He does have a MacBook Air, but the PC that's actually powering the setup is inside the Fantex Evolve ATX case that's equipped with the 6700K and an ASUS Strix 1070. And finally, the cable management, nicely done, hiding it behind the desk and wrapping the power strip against one of the legs. A very clean and impressive setup, no doubt. Thank you, Tin, for entering. So that is it for this episode of Setup Wars. As always, make sure you guys vote within the app. Nice, you guys can actually check out the voting in real time to see who's winning, to see who's not. And you guys can also watch my next episode of Setup Wars on the app as well. It's already uploaded. I'll have a link to them down below. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video video.